I was so close. I was so close to getting a solution and my old reliable Ender 3 croaked. And so rather than try to repair it yet again, that would be the third time in the past year, I decided to get myself a bamboo. Um, and so far, I'm really impressed. This thing is so fast. Um, it prints in less than half the time and with much more accurate accuracy than my old ender. So, so far I'm very happy. And what am I printing here? Well, you probably can't tell from here, but take a look over here. This is a completely new approach and it was suggested by good old Robo Hut, Robot Hut. Um, it's a channel I follow on YouTube and he's a really sharp engineer and um, when he saw what I was doing with the Garden Railroad he said you know you might be better off using a pulley system rather than levers and that made a lot of sense so what I've done is I've designed a pulley system um, this is going to attach to the track itself in front of the switch the lever for the switch and there are these two pulleys here that will be inserted into there and then these will go underneath the track bed one near the arm and the other one uh, uh, directly opposite this so basically I what the, the idea is I'm going to uh, take some Kevlar thread and I'm going to wind that around the arm of the gate and then have that go through one of these pulleys, then through the other pulley at that end, then through there, then up through this pulley and over, and then attach it to the actual lever for the switch. And hopefully that gives me a lot more flexibility with how much pull I need because I can put a really big uh, pulley on that gate arm and have it pull really hard or I could put a very small one or I could just put nothing there. So I'm going to experiment with that and see what it takes to get that arm to pull properly and then yank um, the, uh, the thing open. So so completely different tact here that I'm going on. Um, so we're going to see how this works out. And, you know, it doesn't take me long to print this stuff. I mean, it's just amazing. Within less than a half hour, I've got a fully functioning part in beautiful condition. So off we go. All right, so here are the finished pulleys. This one here. Um, and this one. These are going to go basically up underneath the track bed like that and the cable will run from uh, uh, not that. There it is. So it'll run from this instead of having a bar there the cable will be wrapped around this and then it'll run through here and then this one will be positioned um, at the opposite end, directly underneath the switch. And so the cable will run there, it'll come out here, and then this will be positioned on uh, the outside of the track bed, uh, directly opposite the switch. And the cable will run up through here and over this one and then from the pulley it'll attach to the spring on the switch. So, and these all spin really smooth. You know, very, very nice, so there should be any tension there at all. Now, right, right now, for the past uh, week and going on to the next week, it's going to be below freezing outside. Uh, so I'm not inclined to go work on this in below freezing temperatures. So I'm going to see if it'll warm up a little bit, at least into the 50s, uh, so I can get out there and try this out 
If not, then I'll have to wait for spring. But uh, we shall see. So now waiting on the weather. It's a warmish day out, so I've got the double pulley installed under here. I've got the single pulley. And over here, I didn't need any pulley because it just goes straight across. Um, but I did run into another interesting problem here. Uh, if I move it, it goes the wrong way. So it works. It's pulling the points. It's just pulling them in the wrong direction. So I've just got to fiddle with this some more. And figure out so it's gonna work and it's really easy to push um, and it comes see it swings back all by itself when it's loose so um, maybe that'll work I no, it won't because you know come the train will come through this way it'll come around and hit that and it'll derail so Yeah, it's uh, just backwards from the way it needs to be. So, a little more work to do. A little more progress. So it works now the way it's supposed to, but it has to turn so far and that it's not coming all the way back. I think the problem is I don't need this spring. This was if it was to pull too much, but it's not pulling enough. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this spring, tie directly into this see if that works. All right, so proof of concept, it works. I've got some adjustments to do, but notice it does pull it. Of course, it's moving way too much. So all I need to do is stick another pulley in this system to take up some of that slack and it's gonna work. That is quite delightful. So that's enough for today before my hands fall off. But uh, yeah, making progress. All right, so I've concocted a new gate arm. And this one has a 40 centimeter, 40 centimeter, that'd be huge, 40 millimeter uh, pulley on it. And... I've got a small hole right there, and that's where the Kevlar thread will go into, and it'll wrap around. So when it turns, it'll pull on the pulley, and that might give it enough leverage to open all the way. We'll see. And if not, I can always make this a larger pulley, and I'll just keep making it larger until I get enough pull on it. So let's start off with this one and see how it goes. By Jove, I think I've got it. So if the train comes through, look at that. Absolutely perfect. Now, and it goes back perfectly. So that's the, that's the setup now. I've got the pulley. Let's see if I can focus. Got the pulley right there, going across to that pulley there, to that pulley's up there. And as long as the Kevlar thread holds out, that should work just fine. Psyched. Now, let's try it with a train, see what happens. This one I still have to do manually. Push. And
Oh, so close. A little bit of uh, melting there. I think it was just going a little too fast. Let me try that again. Okay, retrying this at a slower speed. All right, let's go do the other one. One nice thing about the new printer, besides it taking almost no time to print these things, is um, it has a much larger bed. So I, this is the extended version I made of the gate arm. And I couldn't print this on my Ender. It was simply too big, but it printed fine on the bamboo. So, um, it works. It's a little tight here. I'm not sure whether the train's gonna be able to open it all the way, but it, I think it's going to, but the only way to find out, let's get the train on the track and try it out. And perfect, that works fine. That swung back quite a bit, but it shouldn't be a problem unless the uh, cables come off. I'll check that out. What I might do is put a little stop uh, on that so that it doesn't swing back as far. But there we go. She's a running. Just for laughs. Let's see if it'll, uh, well, no, I better stop it because I don't know whether that cable's come off or not. So let me go check that out. And if I have to, I'll put a stop there. All right, here we go. I put up a backstop. Everything's all set. Let's see how it does.
<laughs> oh man, that feels so good. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a garden railway. How would you like to take a ride on it? Sure, sounds like a good idea. Well, a train is finally running and not quite on time for Thanksgiving, but certainly before Christmas. And that's good. Uh, ironically, the aluminum gates and pieces that I ordered that I had printed, they haven't arrived yet. They probably won't arrive for a couple more weeks, but it turns out it's probably best that I didn't put those on there because I was thinking the aluminum would probably scrape up the plastic bodies of the trains. So it's probably best that I stuck with the plastic. And I'm glad I finally figured that out. Thanks to good old Robot Hut, I finally figured out a way to make that work. Um, and it's pretty reliable. And I noticed that when it was pushing the flatbed around that had the camera on it, it popped off the track a couple times when it went through the gate. So lighter vehicles aren't going to fare as well going through the gate than the heavier vehicles. Um, but I'm hoping if the engine is at the front of the train, then it should have enough oomph to push that off and not derail everything else that's coming after it. But that will be for another time. Uh, we're supposed to get heavy rain for the next several days. So I'm glad I was able to get out here and test this out now. And it warms the cockles of my heart that <laughs> the system is finally working. So thanks for staying with me through all of this, and I hope your travels are as pleasant as mine have been.